Hey guys, so today I am coloring in a drawing. This is for um, Monster Hunter, but um, to be honest, I'm not really familiar with all of the monsters, so I'm just learning about some from my friends. They said, I asked them like, what is a pairing of monsters? Because I wanted to do like two monsters at once, and I found some cute poses to do for like pairs of monsters. So this one is Rathalos and Rathian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those correctly because I never heard people say their names. So yeah, I didn't really do any research, um, which I should have, but I didn't. So yeah. Um, but this is Rathalos. From what I heard from my friend, Rathalos is the male and Rathian will be the female. So I made Rathalos the male. Um, originally I was gonna give him this beak. Like, um, it looks like a beak, but they have like this black pattern on their nose. I ended up skipping that just because every time I tried to draw it, it kind of looked like a bird person. <laughs> so I just skipped that. By the way, these are, I should have mentioned in the beginning, but these are monster hunter monsters as shapeshifters. So they're still monsters, but they turn into people. So they look like people, but they're still the monsters that they are. Um, yeah. So I was going to give him the actual um, black pattern on his nose, but I decided to just give him black on the top lips of him because, on like his lip, just because, to be honest, it looked too much like a bird rather than a dragon, so I completely just skipped that part. So this is where I'm adding like the black pattern and yeah there's there's a lot of patterns to keep notice and they have these like dangly pieces with like um dark uh with spikes on them so that's the part that i drew behind the ears and yeah i gave him his pattern that he has on the chest they have like these patterns on their chest which are like black color um for the actual skin tone though, for the belly and parts of the arms and wings, it kind of looked tannish in some of the actual drawings, like references that I was looking at, but to be honest, all photos were not super clear. There was like a lot of shading going on, but I couldn't really pinpoint what is the main base of the color. So I ended up doing this thing where I kept them all white, especially like his wings and his belly, and I just shaded in in with gray. I know it's not super accurate. It kind of looks tan in some photos, and it kind of looks like white in other photos, like white with like a lot of shading of gray. So I'm not entirely sure what color it is specifically, but I ended up doing that. So I colored in the eyes, um like a purple and blue because that's what it kind of looks like the eyes for the monsters look super shiny like lit up but i'm not able to do that so i'm not able to get that effect so i didn't bother really so i just did two colors so that way it looks like it's a mix of colors for his hair i didn't want his hair to completely match his skin tone so to not get lost in between his skin and his hair i ended up doing this orangey red now um the orange red color to be honest it's not really like because Rathalos doesn't really look super red like the skin that I drew him with, but I ended up going with like an orangey red because I thought that fit him better for his hair. Um, and then I am shading it in with darker shades of red, so the marker kind of dried really orange compared to red, so it's good. It doesn't get lost in between like the hair and the like the face so it's not that bad um his hair is supposed to represent the spikes they have like this huge crest of spikes all throughout the back of their head so i wanted his hair to look like that usually i would add like the actual spikes um 
to the back of the head rather than just doing the hair like that but I wanted to try something new so I ended up doing that so there's some black areas where it's like a black line of spikes so that's the hair that I did like just strands of black and then strands of orange with like black um tips on them so yeah there's a lot of coloring going on for the um actual hair itself there's like a lot of colors I was trying to like mix together and then also he I gave him the spikes on the back of his jacket but his back spikes are basically um they're just jutting out of his jacket so assume that his jacket has holes in it on the back so that way you can see the spikes and then for his actual hair and like the underneath it's like wavy it's all pressed down but i made that all black so the under part is just black hair for his jacket i gave him like an actual sports jacket i didn't know what type of jacket to give him and because there was so much going on with his head and his hair i decided to go for a white jacket um usually i go for white colored clothing when it comes to like to like if the character has so much color already so that's what i wanted to do for um Rathalos. so yeah i don't know if you noticed on his jacket i also gave him this tooth that i'm coloring it's basically a dragon tooth that he has and then he has gray pants as well. I tried to keep the clothing at a minimum, like a minimal aesthetic, just because, like, the hair is, there's a lot going on on the head anyways. <laughs> so yeah, and now I am outlining. If you guys want to see the other um, drawings for my Monster Hunter shapeshifters, I did two other ones. They'll be posted on my drawings playlist so you guys can see those. Those will be uploaded before this video anyways. Um, yeah, and if you want to see the process work for him, like this sketch and stuff and pictures that I take, they will all be in the description box below. Um, I'm going to post my stuff on my social media so you, if you like and follow those, You'll definitely get to see my process work more. Um, yeah, my next drawing will be doing Rathian's uh, coloring process. Um, she looks a bit difficult to color because they're like this grayish tan color. They're not really just like a bright color to color in. So she looks like a challenge. So I'm looking forward to it actually. But yeah, um... If you guys have any suggestions for what I should draw next, um, I do have, like, another set of uh, monsters that I want to draw, and then that's probably it for my ideas of Monster Hunter characters to draw. So if you want, you can leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know just what stuff you guys want to see for like my next drawings and stuff like that. I know I usually don't take requests, but now I am just because I'm spending my time at home a lot. So <laughs> the ideas of like getting ideas is kind of difficult in terms of like just constantly being in one place all the time. It's not like I'm going outside and getting ideas. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.